Hey folks, welcome back to Hopped Up Beer Review. Tonight we have something special. We're going to visit our friends at Left Hand Brewing Company and we're going to have their Wake Up Dead. It's out of Longmont, Colorado. Stick around. Hey everybody, welcome to Hopped Up Beer Review, the show where we give you our unprofessional and somewhat biased opinion about the beer we are drinking and reviewing. We are back with another episode and definitely appreciate you joining us today for this one. Uh, hopefully it's going to be a fun one. I've got Andy in the attic. I've got Jay. I'm Ben. What are we drinking today? Our fun trends at Left Hand Brewing Company. We're going to have the Wake Up Dead, the Imperial Stout. Imperial Stout. Ten point two ABV, so it'll uh, definitely wake somebody up. Yeah, we'll see how good their uh, claim is with the name, right? Right. Andy needs to wake up. I mean, he looks like yeah. he's uh, about dead. Sleep, sleep drinking here. Hmm. Well, that is one dark beer. Bold yet smooth with notes of dark chocolate, dried fruit, and coffee. Mmm. Your favorite. I like the dried fruit. Yep. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. You okay, Andrew? Mmm. I am now. Wow. It's funny. It hasn't been out of the fridge long, but it, it's like a warming effect. It's like a warm tasting beer, even though it's chilled, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I, I That's interesting you say that because I literally just pulled mine out of the fridge, which I probably should have pulled it out sooner. But yeah, it, it doesn't, doesn't seem all that cold. Wow. This is an imperial stout. It was labeled as a Russian imperial stout, but they don't put that on the um, on the actual bottle. It just says imperial stout. Um, Enjoy it, fifty to fifty-five degrees. Yeah, ten point two percent, forty-five IBUs. It's got a lot of IBUs. <clears throat> it um, the hops are uh, the ctz and golding just i wonder if they put a lot of it in there but if it's technically if it is a russian imperial stout then it is going to be a high percentage of hops which would potentially raise an IV. so this isn't a year-round beer uh which is wow I, you know I, I figured this would be like a seasonal thing or like limited release the way it one the way it tastes because it is cellared for over four months so wow. the length of time it takes to get this ready for market it's there's a lot goes into it for being a year round as and the bottle said, says that it could be cellared personally for up to five years yeah so. it's got notes of dark chocolate raisins black licorice and coffee with it, it smells great I get a little bit of coffee, but that's that's a mild that's the way mild I like it flavor to it. Yeah. Um Left Hand Brewing Company, Longmont, Colorado, founded in 1993. We have reviewed several of theirs. We started with their milk stout nitro. And then we also did the regular milk stout, did we not? Uh the non-nitro, or do we do it in the bottle we did like one in the can one in the bottle had did, didn't we do it we talked about that i don't think we ever okay we never did, did the comparison that. yeah um we always also did the brewer's test kitchen thai spice saison and we did wook bait uh which was an ipa and 1265 pilsner oh, we did do the pilsner okay yeah. i was like because when i was looked at the can i was like did, did we do the pilsner so we did the pilsner yeah. so we've done five already 
Hey, left hand. We've done five already with uh, with them before this wow. one. So, and actually, because I, I was looking at this, because I was wondering how many we'd actually done, and Which I was thinking we'd done just done one. Um, but we had done five within the first fifty-two episodes. Okay, so what bait? It's because you had gotten you... a a mix pack. Yeah, the whoop bait, the Tizon, the Pilsner. There was one other in that, and then we did the the milk stout. nitro. Yeah, hmm. yeah. You had picked up a mix pack on your uh, one of your trips out west, Ben. Yep, yep. So. Well, go back and look at the milk stout nitro one, and that's going to give uh, a history, more extensive history. Uh, one thing I learned they. They won the Brewers Association Brew of the Year Award in 2022. So, bully to y'all at left hand. Yeah. Um, I, I know I was, I was reading the bottle. That's what I picked up the bottle for. And it said, brewed on the banks of the mighty St. Brain. Well, I just, I couldn't be happy just at that. I was just like, well, what's the mighty St. Brain? It is... Technically, it makes it sound like a river, but technically it's a creek. The St. Brain Creek, it's a tributary of the South Platte River, joined by Left Hand Creek, which is south of Longmont. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, St. Vrain is named after Saran St. Brain. He was a pioneer and trader back in the day, 1800s days. Gotcha. Yeah, it's a, a little flair to our left hand lore since this is since now we have enough of them to have a uh a playlist on our on our channel yeah, we'll have to get that set up uh here when we uh we produce this one so uh you know hopefully we'll have a, a list at the end of this video that if you want to watch more of our left hand uh and specifically the the milk stout to learn a little more about the brewery uh we'll have that at the end of this video you know probably so um all right has anybody had this one before i don't think so yeah oh well okay uh so anybody want to go first here anybody volunteering ben i volunteer you wow well you know i, I guess i uh voluntold uh right <laughs> all right um this one is is good. It's um, you know, I'm definitely somebody that likes a good stout. And I'd say the first thing I notice, you know, you mentioned it. The, the first thing I notice is that the coffee is not slap you in the face coffee like a lot of the coffee stouts, especially the Imperials that you typically get that have coffee in them. Uh, I almost, you know, if you handed this to me, I don't know that I would even pick up coffee um, just off the bat anyway. Uh it doesn't for me drink it at a 10.2 uh you know it, it's not boozy uh it's it's just well crafted uh to with the flavors you mentioned the raisin i felt like you know there was a little bit of fruit i couldn't put my finger on what it was before you mentioned it but i think the raisin is definitely there and just a, a small pinch it's just a little bit of sweet there and, and uh with you mentioning that um that's kind of what I, I I was able to kind of grab onto. So all told, I, I think it it's blended really, really well to not be boozy, to not have too much coffee flavor, and to just all around be a really good imperial stout, in my opinion. Um, so I'm going to give this one an eight and a half. I think it's tasty. It's very aromatic. I think it's really, really good. Next, aromatic. Anybody? What do you think, Jeff? Um, I'll agree with you on several points. Um, it's definitely mild on the coffee side, which I like. You know, coffee to me is just a it's off putting in a lot of ways, just because I don't like coffee and I don't drink it at all. Um, so I still get coffee in the aftertaste um you know after you had that sip and it lingers for a little bit you got that in the back of your throat or a little bit on your tongue it's still there 
Um, not bad. It's good. Uh, when you drink it, I definitely get the the dried fruit. You know, whether it's raisin, prune, like you can you can taste that dried fruit in there, um, and maybe a little bit of the the cocoa or the char dark chocolate. That's kind of what comes through to me. Um, I, I I wish I had like you said, Ben, pulled it out a little earlier to let it kind of warm up to more, more of the room temperature because it re was recommended 50 to 55, and I know mine's definitely probably in the 40s. Um, so that said, it probably pulls out a little more of the flavors of some of the fruits and things at that warmer temperature. Um, I think I'm going to go with a seven and a half on this one. It, uh, it's really good um, not crushable. It definitely is heavy to me, but it doesn't seem boozy. Like some, the alcohol is not overpowering at a 10 percenter. All right. Please. Mr. The Attic, what say you? Yes. Agreed in that it is, it tastes heavy, but not high in alcohol. Um, I mean, this is a, a heavy, thick, thickly beer. I'm bringing that. that. That's a good word, thickly. We're going to make that a thing. Thickly. Started here. You heard me. Print it, print it on a t-shirt, huh? Yeah, thickly. It's no throwing well, yams. Yeah. I, um, you know, earlier I said, oh, you don't really detect the coffee. But when I sit here, like you said, Jay, you just, you don't take it any more sips and you just, let, you're like, oh. I got some coffee. I got that bitter coffee taste too. You know, so you get the little bitterness from the hops. You get the little coffee. The first sip on the front end, you can get that um, that mild, you know, the subtle fruit of a raisin. Glad I don't get a lot of black licorice out of it, uh, unless that's the the bitter on the back end. Ain't that the truth? But yeah, mild chocolate. It's good, but it is something you take slow, and uh, only one of. And uh, I'm having a, a hard time on the rating. I'm going to, I got to hold it back at a seven and a half. I want the eight, but it's that a little too much lingering coffee bitterness. Um, you know, I, uh, it's really good. And I would definitely have another one, but, you know, I got to be true to the scoring. Um, so 7.5. Let me ask this question. Jay doesn't like coffee. Andy, I, you drink coffee, right? Oh boy, do I. Yeah. What 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 kind of coffee do you drink typically? Arabica. Uh I like so Arabica like a mild beans. Or Preferably medium. Central America, like Costa Rican. I like that type of atmosphere, but black. I drink it black and <laughs> so like a, is what kind of roast is that? Sorry. That's that's kind of what I was getting. At. It varies, you know. It's medium to uh, it could be a, a medium or a a light roast. Okay. Do you drink but, dark roast at all? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All. all right. Yeah, I don't like too acidic of coffees. I, like, uh, should we save this for our coffee channel? You know, he, like, does, not, uh, he does not discriminate. I mean, come on. But I drink a lot of styles of coffee, <laughs> but I like a good Kona. You know, if you give me a good okay. Kona, that's fun. But, um, you know, like some of the Madagascar, uh, some of the that's kind of acidic to me. I don't know coffee that well. I, I get the one kind. I, that's the one kind I drink. I drink it black. You know, I get the Sumatra, the Starbucks, K-Cups, whatever they are. Uh, I figured you know, you're like so, a Maxwell house. You're just going to suffer with your no, I, you know, morning I, I, cup of Joe and no, no, crash but, the day. You know, that's just what I like. <laughs> but, um, but you know, I like, you know, my coffee, like I like my styles, I like, a, I like it dark. I like it heavy, you know? So I don't Seductive. just, I guess yeah. what I'm, my point was while I was asking is I still, even after that, I don't really get much of a coffee flavor on the back end I, I i don't pull that out and it takes a while okay i'll take your word for it I'll, i mean I'll, it's we'll not see. like directly on the back end it's gotta sit i gotta sit there and just yeah rub your tongue up and down on the top of your mouth and back and forth get, 
How dare get you caught up in my feels. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jay's living out his fantasy here. No, no this is not the place, Jay. <laughs> oh, gosh. We're going to have to send Ben coffee on top of the honey that we're going to send him. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so he can actually taste things. I don't taste honey. <laughs> do I put the honey It's literally in the, coffee, in the name of the beer. Do I put yeah. the <laughs> That is going to give us a 7.8 for the Wake Up Dead Imperial Stout from Left Hand Brewing Company out of Longmont, Colorado. Almost went California there, but Colorado. I shaped it, twisted it, made it. Um, that 10 percenter is getting to you. You know, it's kicking in, yeah. Uh, so... <laughs> um definitely a fun one if you like stouts i think you should grab it and if you've had it let us know what you think about it and you can do that on any of the social medias listed down in the description you can also swing by discord our hopped up beer review chat server come say hey to the three of us the others that have joined us there uh and and we'd love to to have you involved in our discord server um also, if you are have any interest in some hopped up beer review merch, there will be a link for that down in the description as well. Jay's got the t-shirt on. You can check that out if that so interests you. Uh, that's it. That's all I got to say uh, for Andy in the attic and Jay. I am Ben. Thanks for watching. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates.